But baby, yeah, don't get it twisted You was just another nigga on a hit list Trying to fix your own issues with a bad bitch Didn't they tell you that I was a savage? Fucking my horse in a carriage But you never could imagine Never tell you you could have it You Welcome back to my channel, Queen Shaliwa, and today, you guess it right, we are going to be doing a review, an honest review, on, drumroll please, Fancy Beauty, stay tuned, are you ready, is you ready sis, no, are you, you sure you're ready, okay, I'll get right to it, so as we all know, Rihanna, the queen, no, I'm not gonna call her the queen because Beyonce is the queen. So, Viana dropped her first set of beauty products under the name Fenty Beauty on Friday. I forget what day that is. Um, I'm gonna put the date right up here, but that's when she dropped it. So, um, I'm gonna try my best not to be too biased because you know we all love Rihanna, but let's be real about this. So, I'm gonna tell you guys my first. An honest impression Let's start with shipping um shipping was great I was so impressed I just got the products they just came today that's another good thing about this it came two days after I ordered it and this is not two business days it's two days on the weekend so that's really hard to get I don't know if it, this is gonna be like a one-time thing because it's a first launch but Rihanna please just continue to do this for us Anyway, the website was so beautiful. Like, it was so beautiful. Um, it usually takes a while for people to get the websites right, but this website was just spot on, you know, legit. Kylie Jenner, for example, had to do a few, you know. This website was legit. I love the website. I love the way she handled it. I love the facts. This is the most important thing. The fact that the website did not crash when it launched, because I know there was like a thousand other girls sitting up at night for that two o'clock to hit to get those products. You know, I'm impressed about that. She did this whole cute thing that helps people to stand in line. Then you got to turn to shop on the website, which really made a lot of sense. So I'm gonna say it was fair. The shopping was fair. The website was fair. That. Um, Kylie, take notes. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, let's get right into the products. So, I got Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Longwear Foundation Pro Filter. That's it, guys. This is how it came. This is the packaging. I actually got this from Sephora. 32 mils. Let me open it up. Guys, see packaging now. See packaging like what else do you want it has a pump look at this guys look can you see this can you see the ship packaging i'll give it a 10 on packaging what else did i get this is the first time i'm opening it guys i just got it this evening so we're doing this together you know we're in this together this is a beauty blender which was $16. Um, I'm not a fan of expensive instruments for my face. I'd rather spend more money on makeup than the actual, um, you know, thing to apply it with. But this beauty blender is pretty small, like really small. Um, I'm sure it's going to get bigger when I put it inside water. And this is how it looks. I love the fact that it has a um, precision right over here. So this is a beauty blender. I got, um, this gloss balm you guys like I've been looking for the best not the best I'm looking for an everyday lip gloss and I feel like I found it with this but I don't know yet I haven't even swatched it let me open it up this is how it came this is a packaging your Rihanna's packaging I don't even know I don't know who she works with but I saw everybody smell it in all the reviews that I've seen do you guys remember splash in Nigeria smells exactly like splashed strawberry flavor straight up yeah shit smells good mm. anywho 
And the last thing I got was, y'all know, Trophy Wife. Save the best for last. Trophy Wife, I cannot wait to try it. Um, I'm not going to say too much about this right now because I don't know what to think. I've seen it. You know what? Let's just wait till I actually apply it. I am going to use my own primer, which is number seven, Beautifully Matte. Just a little bit because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just... I just want to see how these products are. Just a little bit. There we go. Better swear level. Sixteen dollars not my list. Better swear. Uh huh. It's getting the size. It's getting the right size. But you know, yeah, it's not bad. Kind of looks rumpled. Let's go right into the foundation. Um, by the looks of it and what I've seen so far, um, this is what I have on my hand. Not too runny. It feels light. So I'm just going to pat some on. Let's pat some on. Like, I'm noticing that I have to build it up. It feels kind of, I'm not going to say matte, kind of dewy, like a dewy finish. But let me wait for it to dry up. So I'm not a full coverage girl. Like, I'm a matte girl. Like, I really love matte products. And for what I'm seeing so far, not really on the matte side. But the finish is really natural. If you can see that, the finish is really natural. Um, I just, I think I'm in love with this, but I'm not going to say crazy, oh my gosh, but I'm surprised because this is her first launch, so, um, big ups to her. Like, it's not easy to get makeup right on your first try, and I feel like, um, this is everyday makeup. You don't want to wear this to a party because you will sweat all the way out, you know? So, this is what we have, full foundation on this is the whole face with foundation um what do i think it's kind of a matte finish i think i was wrong not really do we not too matte but um it kind of locks in the moisture this is really an everyday makeup i mean everyday foundation but um a lot of people were saying um it's usually not 32 mils for um foundation that Miana gave us an extra two mils but I feel like um y'all you gotta build this shit up for you to actually see that you're wearing foundation so it's like the two mils vanish anyway to 30 mils so think about that think about that did she really give us two mils I don't think so this is what I have right now there is no contouring just highlighting and baking because I'm trying to keep it as much as possible to Fenty Beauty with the products which I, that I actually purchased. So I'm baking right now. Put the eyelashes on. Oh my gosh, guys, this is beautiful. Packaging. Vienna pack <laughs> Packaging. Oh. Oh. It has this protective slip. So I'm just gonna use this tiny brush to add some. Huh. Too yellow. Def definitely too yellow. Mm. I don't know, guys. Definitely feel like it's really yellow. Can you see how the specks are kind of um, scattered? Maybe because I'm not using too much because I don't want it to be too yellow. But if you can see, so this is how it's looking. I don't want to put on too much. Um, I'm trying to match this side. I honestly think it's really yellow for my skin. Is it worth your 34? I'd say yes, just because if it doesn't work out as a highlighter for you, 
you could definitely switch to a you can definitely I think I put too much if it doesn't work as a highlighter for you um, you can use it as an eyeshadow you can definitely use it as an eyeshadow uh, let me be extra on this so this is what we have right now this is what I have on both sides I don't know if you guys noticed, but the foundation looks kind of dark on my skin. I don't know if I picked out the wrong one. So right now I have just Vaseline on my lips. Just gonna learn it like I always do. Hey guys, this is beautiful and this is what I'm most impressed about. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. Yes, a 10 out of 10 because this is for like your everyday lip gloss. And it doesn't have a color to it, like it goes with my lips. It's really glossy. It's beautiful. Like, can you guys see this? Rihanna, you killed it with this lip gloss, and it's, um, I think it tastes good, too. To be honest, in general, I'm not really impressed with the foundation, because it reminds me of Maybelline Fit Me, which is about $7. Um, so is it worth it, $34, for this foundation? I'm going to say no. It's good for your everyday makeup. Definitely can't wear it to a party, because you, your face just melt off. Don't, don't even try it. <laughs> don't. But um, I like the way it feels. It doesn't feel too matte or too dewy. It just feels like it locks it in place. Um, will I recommend this foundation? I don't think so. Um, this is because I've seen better for this price. Um, the makeup sponge, I'm going to give it an 8. And the foundation itself, it's all the way over there. But I'm going to give the foundation a 7 out of 10. That's just my opinion. Um, so Rihanna, we definitely can't wait for you to drop some more products. I can't wait to see what else you have for us. It's really hard for people to get it right on the first try. I'm telling you guys, it's hard to get it right on the first try. This is nice. If you want to know how I did my brows, check out my video. I have videos of my brow routine. Um, also the full face makeup is in all my other videos. Check them out. Um, if you like this or if you don't agree with my opinion, let's go there in the comments. Give me a comment. Leave me a comment. Um, if you want to know like some more information, leave me a comment. Um, follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat. Don't forget to subscribe and I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.